As the country records a surge in COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations and deaths, opposition leader Philip Brave Davis criticized the government's management of the health emergency and accused the minister's administration of shooting from the hips. He charged that government's haphazard efforts to get a handle on the crisis is pushing the country towards catastrophe. We have seen more than 1,600 new COVID cases recorded within the last three weeks. Our public health system is strained beyond capacity, described by one doctor as beyond breaking point. Davis pointed to the government's decision to lift the testing requirement for vaccinated passengers, noting that while vaccines help to prevent severe infection and hospitalization, vaccinated individuals can still pass the virus on to others, particularly the more dangerous Delta variant. Throughout the summer, tourism has rebounded throughout our Caribbean region, including in the many countries who kept in place their testing requirement for all visitors. We can keep welcoming visitors and at the same time do a better job keeping these extremely transmissible variants out of our country. The opposition also called for more testing as well as information about hotspots and sources of transmission. He said this would help Bahamians make more informed decisions. COVID fatigue is real. We believe it would be helpful if the science and health rationale behind each of the emergency orders was shared with the public. This is both appropriately respectful and likely to increase compliance. On Friday, Health Minister Wenward Wells announced a number of new restrictions in a bid to limit the spread of the virus. And tonight, the Prime Minister is expected to address the nation regarding the continued comprehensive measures his administration is taking to combat the recent surge in COVID-19 cases. Davis said the decision by the PM to address the nation just days after Wells announced the increased restrictions points to a lack of cohesiveness within the Minnesota administration. They have been shooting from the hips. They have been reactive as opposed to proactive. And what it speaks to, lack of planning, lack of not having understand or learning from the experiences that we have had over the last 16 months. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.